hot day here in Cairns, um, which is not when this video is actually from. This is from a few months ago when we were still on the Gold Coast and uh, we were still in trackies and wet weather gear, um, especially for the overnight sale, which was freezing cold, very wet. So yeah, I'm getting around to editing that today here in Cairns while Lincoln's busy working away on fixing the outboard. Fun times. Yes, trying to fix this uh, carburetor that's broke. Can't get another. There's none in the world. Yes. In the world. <laughs> Come on, Yamaha. But anyway, we were very stoked to finally be leaving the Gold Coast after lockdown. A lot of people didn't realize that boats weren't actually supposed to travel at the time either. It was a bit of a unclear rule at the start, but eventually they explained they didn't want us traveling more than 50 nautical miles. So that gradually opened up to where we were able to travel within Queensland, just not across state borders. This video is from when we were heading for in Skip Point. There's some diving, there's some surfing, crossing the Wide Bay Bar, and uh, just all around stoked about being able to actually set sails again and get on the move northward. All right, here we go. We are heading off on our first overnight sail. Yeah, we should get there uh, by sunrise tomorrow morning. Uh, all being well, if we time it right. Yeah, and uh, we know that the swell's gonna be a little bit big and there's a few clouds scattered around, so we're hoping that uh, we do get some moonlight, but it might be a bit of a dark one, so we'll see. Yes. Wish us luck. We were so excited to lift anchor and finally set sail again after lockdown was lifted in Queensland. Head north! We've been fun though, we've had lots of surfing. Leaving the Gold Coast was bittersweet though. Being there longer than planned had given us the opportunity to learn how to surf. Okay, we weren't as good as this guy, but we sure gave it a red hot go. Just catching a clean wave and riding it in was a massive achievement for me. All smiles on this dial. But we said goodbye to the surf, or so we thought, and raised our sails once again. As we neared the edge of the calm, protected Morton Bay waters, a few rain squalls created the most beautiful rainbow. Shortly after, when the sun began to set, the waves increased and we could see squalls all around us on the horizon. It ended up being a very dark, unpredictable night. The wind was all over the place, calm one minute, too strong the next, shifting 90 to 180 degrees, meaning lots of sail changes and no sleep. We dropped anchor just as the sun began to rise. It had been a mighty cold night, we were soaking, and I had officially met seasickness for the first time. Despite the rolly anchorage, we slept like driftwood. When we woke up later that day, we were greeted by stunning views of Rainbow Beach and epic waves. We jumped in for a magical sunset surf. Stoke levels were at an all-time high. One last chance to surf our heart's delight on perfect empty longboarding waves. This beautiful surf session made the miserable 20 hour sail totally worth it. The next morning, I headed out with Michael and Jess from SV Papal to dive a spot called Wolf Rock. You can see a huge variety of sea life at Wolf Rock, 
including the endangered grey nurse shark. After a few hours of diving, they headed back to join in for one last surf session. Check out that determination. No one ever said surfing was easy, but the pure joy it brings makes the effort well worth it. That afternoon we were off again. The next feat was to cross the notorious Wide Bay Bar. Waves stand up over the shallow sandbars and can get huge and sometimes are breaking, so you have to pick your crossing time carefully. The right wind and tide conditions are important to avoid things like broaching or grounding. If you're not sure what that is, give it a Google and I'm sure you'll come up with some pretty intense videos. never quite shows just how big the waves are or how much we are moving or leaning. So it helps when friends capture it for you. Thanks, Papa. And there's Manrique behind us. There is blood in it. We made it. Made it! Through the Waibay Bar uh, overnight and yeah, well, we, we're did through. A, we did overnight first and then the Waibay Bar. Yeah, 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 we didn't do the bar at night because that's just. That would be crazy. Um, <laughs> now we're in, in, uh, we made it, we're in the inside behind Fraser and it's flat water. It's Beautiful. Perfect. So nice to be back in flat water. I'm pretty stoked about this. Oh, Manor is digging down their heady. What a fun trip to do alongside Papau, Selkie, and Manariki. We settled in for the night in a beautifully flat anchorage. The first really good sleep we had had in days. Cruising north was officially underway and we couldn't wait for warmer weather. The cold makes us a little bit crazy. Yeah. 